Hi, Jim Burfield here from OLI Systems. Today we're going to talk about a multi-stage column called an absorber. This particular example is for a, an emergency chlorine scrubber that we use as a test to make sure that our chemistry is right and that we have capacity to actually neutralize the stream. We're going to start off by adding the absorber from our palette. We'll just click and drag it out here. We're going to pipe it up so we're going to give it some connections. We'll, I always start with the gas inlet. We'll add a feed to the top, a feed coming out the top of the column, and a feed or a product stream coming out the bottom. We'll go ahead and press the escape button here to get it out. I'm going to move the title of the absorber off to the side and rename it Emergency Chlorine Scrubber. The purpose of this, of this test is to take a sample of gas stream coming in uh, and then neutralize it with a reagent coming in here such that we have a specified amount of chlorine coming out the vapor. So let's rename some things. We'll call this the waste gas. Just as a matter of style, I put the tag out near the dot to let me know that's the actual inlet. We'll actually go ahead and give the program some chemistry at this point. So we'll give it some chlorine, that's what it's about. There will be some contaminants, carbon dioxide and nitrogen, and our reagent stream is sodium hydroxide. So we'll come back to the flow sheet. Back to waste gas. Over here in the property panel, uh, we're gonna change the units. And we're just gonna go ahead and let these go. Actually, we're not gonna change the units here. So we're going to just go ahead and start off with no water. We're going to have chlorine at a specified amount. That number will be 5.8 moles. There'll be a lot more carbon dioxide, 52 moles of it. Even more sodium, uh, nitrogen at 58 moles of it. Uh, no sodium hydroxide. The program doesn't care that there's no water here, it knows that this stream has to be a vapor coming in. Uh, one thing I didn't do here is that we're going to go ahead and back, go back and change this to the mixed solvent electrolyte data bank. We can just switch it on the fly and we're all set. The reagent stream, I'm going to call it sodium hydroxide reagent. We'll drag this off to the side as we did before and we'll go ahead and enter the values. We're gonna change the values here. We're gonna change the units. I jumped the gun before, I will do it here. The total stream flow will be in mass units. And we will be in mass fractions. The stream will start off at a thousand grams and we'll enter in the value of caustic. The visual value will be 10 mass percent or weight percent. But notice that it still has a red value here. That means there's something wrong with the stream. We, and the error message comes up, it says the sum must equal 100 because it is in mass percent units. So I will add the, the solvent here. We're almost ready. Uh, we'll go ahead and define the overhead stream. Again, I move the label to the point where it makes more sense to me, at least. And we have the, the bottoms. All right, we're almost ready to run, except we gotta tell the column what it wants to do. Now, the purpose of this is that we have a fixed amount of gas coming in with a certain amount of chlorine. We want the overhead here to have 10% that original value by adjusting this stream coming in. So we're going to go ahead and tell the program to do some stuff. That's done in spec and controls. Well, first, we're going to change the, our column to three stages. We're going to tell the program that it is an equilibrium column. Okay. And now we'll start our spec and controls. We're going to add a spec and control. And we're going to evaluate. Uh, specify the vapor composition on the top stage. Now the default here is one bottom, so we'll change that to three top. OLI 
numbers its columns from the bottom up. So stage one is at the bottom and the highest stage number is at the top, in this case, three. The value will be 10% our original value of 0.5, which will be 0.58. And we'll select our components. In this case, it's chlorine. We're gonna tell the program to vary something and we're gonna vary the feed stream flow of the stream coming in on the top. So it's going to like this. Okay, I just noticed that there's actually an error here. So we'll finish this. It actually is giving us an error because I noticed I didn't actually connect that. And now it's connected. So we'll go back and check the spec and control if it's all set to go. It looks like it is. And we can go ahead and run it. Okay. The program does require a pressure to be specified. Okay. I tend to forget that, like I did here, so I will go over here and specify the pressure profile. It is an atmospheric column, so there's one atmosphere on the top and no pressure drop at all in the column. So we specify the top. If I wanted to, I could specify the mid-stage or other stages here. If you don't, it's going to linearly extrapolate between the two values. Now we're ready. And off to the races. Okay, we are converged. So let's go ahead and look at some values. We can actually go look at the report here, and it's there it is. We specified the chlorine to be 0.58. Okay, let's take a look at the reagent. We start off at a thousand grams. It's been adjusted, but it doesn't say so here. But we have another tab called calculated. And you can see that the mass is now 2,278 grams. Here. So let's add some call outs just so we can see some things here. So I'll add out a call out of the waste gas and we'll add the uh, components to that. This will be uh, the vapor components. We'll add all three of them here. This round. We will copy this. So if you can copy the call out and you can actually paste it to another one, and this is called paste call out. And you can see that we have the 0.58. We're not going to do that here for the caustic reagent because there's slightly different things we want to look at. We will look at the the total mass flow of the stream here, as well as the speciation, well that's the true, we want the apparent speciations of caustic and water. Okay. It defaults to moles, so you can change to edit the units. Uh, it's actually in mass fraction units. We'll go ahead and see if it updates. It didn't. Okay. That actually might be a bug. Uh, bottoms we're not too interested in. However, we are, and this actually was the real world case, we're interested in some of the values of the column itself. Okay. Specifically, how close to fouling are we? So we're going to add scaling tendencies here. So we're going to edit. Now, when you go into the block, it is going to go by stage. So we're going to start with the top, and we're going to look for scaling tendencies. And I have actually run this enough times to know that the solid of interest here is sodium bicarbonate. So we're going to find NaHCO3 and add that here. And you can see that the scaling tendency on the top stage is 0.2. The closer to one, the more likely the solid will form on that stage. I'm going to add the other stages as well. We will go to stage two and add the sodium carbonate and stage one, which is the bottom. Okay, so all, at this particular case, all of the scaling tendencies are very far from one. Things are pretty good column is mass balanced, so we probably don't need to see that kind of stuff. We'll go ahead and just 
row of them all at once. And we're left with our scaling tendencies. I'm going to go ahead and save this. Okay. This will be saved um, in our default folder. I'm going to go into my documents, my OLI cases. This happens to be flow sheet version 10. You can see I have a lot of programs here. And I will call this emergency chlorine. 10 for the 10% caustic. In the real world case, uh, somebody actually changed the concentration of the stream. And we will go ahead and change that to 30%. Now when I hit the 30, it doesn't automatically update. It tells you we have an error. So I got to reduce it to, this here, to 70. Now I'm ready to go. I can run it again. runs very quickly. But now look at the scaling tendencies. They're all much greater than one. This column has potentially performing solids on each stage uh, and potentially plugging the column. So you could do a sensitivity study here to see what concentration removes most of the chlorine with the least amount of reagent with the least potential for uh, fouling or scaling. But that's beyond the purpose of this uh, tutorial. We're gonna save it again except we're going to give it a slightly new name, 30. Any questions, send us an email, and we will try to answer them. Thank you for watching.